Hello and welcome to this Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial. Today we're going to be setting up a router's interface with an IP address and getting a computer to ping it. So let's start by dragging in the required items. So we're going to need a router, we're going to need a switch, and we're going to need a PC. Next we're going to need to connect these up. So go to the connections tab and select copper straight through cable click on the router, select the first interface, click on the switch and do the same and repeat the same process from the switch to the PC. As you can see we have some colored dots that have appeared. Red is indicating that our network has no activity as, at the moment. This will be addressed in a moment and the green and orange dots indicate that this connection is either initializing or there is a mismatch in settings. At the moment there are no mismatch in settings and uh, that dot should have gone green and it has gone green and this indicates that this part of the network is now working correctly. So let's move on to the router and configure the IP address. So click on the router and click on the CLI tab CLI stands for command line interface and you get shown the Cisco iOS software. If you get greeted with this message say no and press enter and then you have to press enter again to get started. So here is the interface for the iOS and we are being prompted to enter commands. As you can see, we have the router's name, which is router. This can be changed at a later point. And this greater than symbol indicates we are in user exec mode. I'm going to be using tab complete in this tutorial uh, to make speed up input of commands. And um, we need to get out of this mode and we need to escalate up into the higher privilege modes we need to eventually get to configuration interface mode. So let's start by seeing which, command, which commands we can do. We can do this by pressing the question mark key. And as you can see, in user exec mode, we can only do a certain amount of commands. The commands that we need is enable to get us into the next mode up, which is privilege mode. So I'm going to type in en and then tab to auto complete it. You can type out the whole thing, it just takes a little bit longer. And I'm going to press enter. As you can see, the greater than sign has been replaced with a hashtag sign. This indicates we are in privilege mode. From privilege mode, we can do many more commands, as I shall show you, by pressing question mark again. And you can see there is a more at the bottom. We can navigate through this by pressing enter, by going down line by line. Or we can press the space bar to go right to the end. So the next one we need is configure. As you can see here just at the top, we need to enter configuration mode. So we need to get to, we need to type in configure. I'm going to do autocomplete with tab. And then I'm going to see what we can do again with question mark. Uh, and we can do terminal. So we want to configure the terminal. Terminal and autocomplete it, press enter. And as you can see, the pound sign, the um, hashtag sign is still there, uh, but we have configure in brackets. This shows us we are in global configuration mode. From here, we can access even more commands, but the one we need is interface, fast ethernet zero slash zero. This tells the configuration mode to select this interface which is fast ethernet zero slash zero, which is the one we plugged into up here. And then press enter. As you can see, it's changed again to config if. This is configure interface mode, and this is where we will do all our configuration from now on. So we need to do two more commands, which is IP address. And we're gonna give it a 192.168.1.1, and a subnet of 255.255.255.0. This assigns the IP address to the interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. So press enter. 
and as you can see nothing really happened but it did assign the IP address uh, but as you can also see our network is still down this is normal because by default all interfaces on routers are administratively down we need to bring that up by issuing the command no shutdown and basically no shutdown brings it out of shutdown modes and puts it into up mode as you can see here it's doing the same process as what it did with the PC to the switch and after a while this will go green for now we can close this because we don't need this window anymore and we can open up the PC window in the meantime while our connection is initializing and we will go to the desktop tab and we will go to IP configuration as you can see our network has just gone green which means our network is fully operational which is good and we're just going to give our computer an IP address of 192.168.1.2 and we're going to give it a subnet mask of the same which Cisco Packet Tracer has automatically filled in for me and then we're going to close this tab and now we're going to go to the command prompt to test our network so first of all you should test your own, your own network interface card to do that you can test 127.0.0.1 this is known as the loopback address and it will test your own network interface card as you can see there we got replies which is good it shows our network interface is working and we can proceed to test the rest of our network so the only other device which has an IP address is our router which we just set up so I'm going to ping 192 .168.1.1 and we should get a reply which we have we've got all four replies and that proves our network is working that is sending a packet from our PC through the switch to the router the router is then sending a reply back through the switch to the PC which we have received here that concludes this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in another